what is up it is Rosa and welcome to today's video I feel like every time I do a thrift haul I wear this dress it just ends up happening that way and now we're gonna know every time I wear this it's thrift haul time today is the first part of a three-part thrift haul that's right three-part thrift haul because I actually went to two stores but one of them I got a lot of stuff so I'm breaking that store up into two parts so if you guys want to see this three-part thrift haul make sure to give this video a thumbs up Subscribe if you have not joined the Briar Patch fan and we have fun here all the time. And let's go ahead and get started. Right, like I mentioned, this is going to be a three-part haul. The reason being is on Saturday after Black Friday, I went to Salvation Army for their 50% off sale because they have it every last Saturday of the month. And I did not find a lot of stuff because my Salvation Army actually raised their prices. So <laughs> I only got like... 20 items something like that and that personally for me was not enough and I was like not satisfied at all because I knew I wasn't going to be going thrifting for a while so I decided to just mosey on over to Goodwill to be a little bit ex more expensive but it Salvation Army actually upped their prices so even with the half off sale it was basically the same amount of money as getting something at Goodwill so I decided because my salvos is pretty okay for the pricing but it's not quality, like they don't really take the best care of their clothes and things like that. So um, I just went to Goodwill and I got some quality stuff. So for today's video, I am going to show you what I got at the Salvation Army 50% off sale. I have one full bag right here. So the first item I have is this and this is a guest vest. And I got it because I thought it'd be really cute for somebody who maybe lives in a warmer climate who wants to go to like a really cute like bar or like wear this with slacks or something for a New Year's Eve party, Christmas party. I just thought it was really cute. It has these really nice buttons here. Guess I don't think resells for too much, but I know that some people love vintage -y guests. And I feel like this is like maybe 2000s, early 90s guests because you don't really see the style anymore. Um, per se so I thought it was really cute it is belted in the back and it has gold champagne -y kind of thread going through it this is a size medium all right guys the next thing I found was just some Athleta I always pick up Athleta tank tops that are pretty like thick just because they sell for like okay for me this is an Athleta size large it's just a purple tank top. Next we have a Zara women's blazer. This is a size USA 8 Euro 40. Has a little bit of a padding situation happening but it just looks like this. It's a basic gray blazer and I think this is going to be one of the last hauls where you will see a blazer for a while because I have a couple of them in my closet and they're not currently moving so I thought this would be a nice blazer to add. All right next is something fun and more of an eBay item than a Poshmark item but yeah, I mean, I buy for both. So this is a Lafayette 144 newer label tag size 16. It's kind of like a black zip up top thing. I have to look it up, but it's just black and it is a zip up. I tried really hard, you guys, not to get so much gray. So I'm hoping you guys are not going to see that much gray in these videos. Next, I found some color. This is a Tommy Bahama women's women's t-shirt, like blouse, 100% silk. I love picking up, you guys know, from like the spring and summer, I love picking up Hawaiian print shirts. I think they're super fun and they're fun to sell. They don't sell for super a lot, like it depends on the brand, but they're fun to sell and it, I love like selling the artwork, I guess is my thing. This is a size extra large, 100% silk, older style Tommy Bahama. Next, I finally found a band t-shirt. I'm always looking for stupid band t-shirts and I can never find them because they just are not around in my area. But I finally found one. It is a Rolling Stones t-shirt. It is by the brand Don London. And it's it does feel like worn and loved. So I kind of like that in my shirts. Um, I'm currently trying to wash my beer garden t-shirt from my Disney haul. If you haven't seen that, it was posted a couple weeks ago. Or actually, no, it was posted last week. Sorry, I forgot when this video was gonna go up, but it was posted last Thursday. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it up here at my Disney World haul. But yeah, I'm currently washing it so it could be a little bit more grungy. Not grungy, but like soft. 
so that is the t-shirt. I don't know what size this is, but it's reminding me of like a little bit of a medium, so I think I'll list it as medium. I obviously have to like measure all this stuff out. All right, next is something else from Disney. Well, uh, nothing's from Disney, but speaking of Disney, oh, I have this 2010 Disneyland t-shirt. Picked it up for super cheap at Salvo's. And it's just a 2010, so people who collect Disney Park merch will really like this. It has kind of all of the sayings as well in the back. Like it says, hold on and scream from Screamin'. It says, um, oh my god, laugh out loud, Disneyland. It like says a bunch of stuff in the back. This is it. It's just really cool. And the ears are actually velvet, which I think is really cool. Like it's a velvet material where it says, the Mickey ears so I thought that was a really cool touch so hopefully we can get something for this because I think it's really cool and I feel like a collector is really gonna like it next I picked up something that I sold before on eBay so I picked it up again but this is like a better quality one this is Masoni for Target size small Masoni and Target did a collaboration I don't really pick up too much collaboration stuff with Target because like half of it doesn't really sell but the Masoni one did it sold and this is such a nice one this is just a sheer chevron blouse size small but the lining is like this really soft material like it's really interesting I mean the trim next I have this Torrid top I like to pick up Torrid you guys know I like it to Torrid um, and this is a newer label this is size 00 so it's an extra large and this is what it looks like it's just a cute little baby doll top it's supposed to be wrinkled if not then I'll steam it before I photograph it but it's cute it's a good like springtime piece to be honest it's not really a winter time but it is very sheer so I think it's like a cover-up or it might have came with like a tank top to go under but the person donated it without the second piece so alas poor York we're gonna just you know all right next I bought this it was like super cheap but I thought it'd be fun to sell this for the holidays it says hallelujah and it's from National Lampoon's Christmas what is it? National Christmas Vacation. You guys, I've only seen that movie like three times. Um, I'm a Christmas Story girl. I'm not a National Lampoon girl. So, uh huh. Except Christmas Story 2. That was really weird. Did you guys know that existed? Yeah, that exists. And it should have never been put on the face of the planet. But this is a National Lampoon's baseball tee. It just looks like this. And it's when he turns on the lights and he's all, oh my god, it works. And then everyone comes out and it doesn't work. So it's one of those fail parts in the movie next oh this is a really good one um this is for eBay not for Poshmark because I don't think it'll sell as well on Poshmark but it is still with the tag and I love it this is Bob Mackie if you guys haven't heard of Bob Mackie he does a lot of like art, like old school like 90s artwork jean type things I actually heard about Bob Mackie the first time from Oscillady on here on YouTube and she picked it up out of the blue and I looked it up on eBay and the comps are pretty all over the place for this but it has like a tag attached so I'm pretty sure this is new with tags this is a size 3x which is a great size and it's just look at the back of this it's just people playing like springtime stuff I don't know what it is it's like a maripole what do they call them like a maypole is that what it is a maypole here we go around the maypole, yeah, yeah. So it's like literally a here we go around the maypole artwork in the back and then in the front, you guys know, I love my embroidery. In the front, I just have, it just looks like this. I'm like showing myself, but I should show you guys. It looks like this. And then the buttons say M for Mackie. And it's called Wearable Art and it's so nice and it's super like cottony and soft. It's a really good denim, so I'm excited. It also has the uh, floral embroidery on the sleeves. I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I saw it on my way out and I was like, oh, thank God, something really pretty. <laughs> All right, next I have just, I don't like to call things bread and butter, but I think this is kind of like a bread and butter piece, but not really. This is a theory top. I find theory all the time. Some better than others. This is a really nice silk top. It is just, is it even silk? I don't know. Theory, I feel like it's always silk, but you can never know. This is, yeah, 100% silk. Okay. Just a navy blue silk top, size medium. It's just a button front blouse. Nothing too crazy about it but it's theory and it goes around for me like $25 to $45 or $30 if I'm gonna be realistic. I try to get $45 to $50 but ends up always being like $25 to $30 bucks for theory. Alright, next I found Hot Hippie which I barely found. I think I only found one other one that took forever to sell and it sold for peanuts. 
Well, not peanuts. It's sold for $18. I remember that. But this is a better size. That one was an extra small. This is a size large, and it is Hot Hippie. Hot Hippie is a higher-end brand. That's the label if you ever want to find it. And it's just this... What do you know? It's gray, but it has like some silver throughout it and it says some words and it's just really really light Beautiful like you can wear this with a tunic. You can wear this like as a dress if you're short enough You know, I'd probably wear it with like shorts and this is a hundred percent model and the writing is a hundred percent polyester I have another chambray top and it's probably embroidered. Yes, it is I saw this a few times. I didn't look it up, but it is Maggie and Max it's embroidered. Okay I'm gonna stop with the embroidery stuff because it's selling very slowly. I just don't think it's the right time of year for embroidery. Usually that's like a summer, springtime thing. But I couldn't resist. It was beautiful. It's kind of like off center right now because I think it's buttoned wrong, but not a problem. <laughs> Next, I found some Logo Lounge. Uh, Logo Lounge is pretty good if you can find it. Logo and Logo Lounge. This is so comfy. Half the stuff I want to just wear, but this is too small for me actually. This is a size small. And it is a tunic, like a lounge tunic. And it kind of looks like camo, but I think it's supposed to be floral, but it's just like camo colors, so it's a neutral, you feel. All right, the next item I found was another Levinses. I always find Levinses at the Salvation Army, which blows my mind because that stuff is like expensive. And I mean, I'm not saying it's not like an expensive Salvation. I don't mean it is, but like, it doesn't really carry like too many expensive brands. Mm -hmm. Maybe it does, I don't know. But it, this is the second time I've gone in a row and found Elevenses. This is an Elevenses blazer. If you guys don't know, this um, is carried by Anthropology. It's like a higher end Anthropology brand. One of these could go for like $128, um, well, like full like retail. Usually I can sell Elevenses around, it depends on the style, um, like 25 all the way up to 50. I sold a skirt for 45. Like, it's around that. So it's a good thing to find if you can find it for a good price. I definitely like Elevens. It's just going to sit for a while because it's kind of a unique look. Next is a pair of jeans. I picked these up because they were in the women's just top section. I didn't go over to the jeans. This just kind of landed on my lap. And they're Prana 628 jeans. So they're size 28 or size 6. So what it looks like, they're just like little straight like skinny jeans. But they're just regular Prana, but I was kind of confused because I'm like, I didn't know Prana made jeans, but Prana makes a lot of different things, and they always use like ethical stuff. Like for these jeans, they are 79% organic cotton, 19% polyester, 2% elastane. So they like to uh, recycle a lot of um, stuff. We have a couple more items, or how many items do we have? We have two more items. The first one is this guy. This, you guys are going to be so proud of me because so many of you got mad <laughs> that I passed this at the Goodwill the other time I showed you guys a thrift with me. And I picked it up this time so you guys can't yell at me. This is Tolani. I picked up Tolani. And this is the tag right here. 100% silk blouse, a sleeveless blouse. I thought it was so pretty. It's definitely like not a winter piece. but. I think it'd be cute with layering and yeah and I don't know what size this is either so I have to just like deal with that but I picked it up because it was Tolani and all of you guys were like why did you skip the Tolani and I was all oh I failed I'm sorry but I redeemed myself by picking up some Tolani I picked this up I don't even remember what this is oh is this is this Market and Spruce no this is Paper Moon for Stitch Fix I pick paper up Paper Moon for Stitch Fix up sometimes if I really like the way it looks and this is a really really cute top it's scalloped top you can see the scallops on the bottom and on the sleeves is scalloped and like the back keyhole is scalloped it's just super cute and I think this will go for some money I sold a paper uh, paper moon stitch fix brand dress for $40 or $35 to $40 on eBay so I'm gonna see if this will work on Poshmark because I think it's a really pretty, like a trendy kind of piece. So we'll see about that. All right guys, so that is everything for the first part of this video to make sure that you're gonna be able to see the next part. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss those two parts. Also, if you are already subscribed, make sure to hit that bell button next to the subscription button so you guys will be notified when my video goes up because I know that sometimes um, it, you guys won't be notified. But I'm also putting up community like 
notes to you guys. If you guys follow me, like if you guys are subscribed to me, you will see like the notes in the community tab. I can now run polls and do all the stuff, which is awesome. So I like to let you guys know when a video is about to go up or it's gonna go up the next day and things like that on there. So make sure to check it out. But that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the Bright Patch fan We have fun here all the time. Uh, 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 uh. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye. Yo, what's up? I'm the Mad Hatter. I'll pour you tea, please don't let it splatter. Does it really matter? Cause I'm the Mad Hatter. <laughs>